Hello. Hello. My name is Edsel Robinson. Mm. Come on. Producer and director of this excellent documentary entitled yeah. Nets and Boats. Come on. Brands and Boats. Come on. Brands. The Mechanics Brands. of Men. Mechanics of yeah. Men. Yeah. Mechanics of Men. Nets and Boats. You know, the spirit led me to shoot this documentary as a result of my own divorce and marital issues such as the lack of communication, uh, bring it, bring it. how we're going to raise these it. children, our religious differences, yes. our financial futures. Yes. Come on. And I also realized how the justice system views us as men as we walk through that courtroom, man, right, man, right, all of which man, has right, impacted man, right, me in a way that I can't explain in full. Therefore, in my quest for knowledge and understanding, asking questions and hearing concerns from both male and females, I now understand that we are different in many ways and we all need to understand those differences to have success in relationships and as a people. Come on, come on, I've bring, asked all participants on, to keep it real keep and it to real. be as truthful keep and real. frank as possible with their own experiences. You may encounter some harsh language, but it's just individuals expressing themselves as they know it. You will hear from the everyday working man to successful lawyers and realtors, investors, the brothers straight out of the hood and guys with various religious beliefs. But it's keeping it real. Keep it so real. sit back and Come witness what I anticipate as up. being one of the greatest documentaries of all time. You know. Look at the fondness that my eyes have graced upon. Were you the fantasy between my sheets as I lay with open arms? Or are you the reality that is here to cause me harm? Yes, my brother, your shoulders look firm and strong enough for a woman of substance. But will they withstand the encounters of being a black man? It takes more than physical strength to lift me higher. I need to know about all your desires. Yes, you've got my attention. But before I give my affection, there are still some things I need to know. Love, 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 love. Love is taken for granted. Uh, it, it's a word that's um, mis misused because it's a, it, it, the word is applied to situations where it's not really love. Love uh, is something for a man that we have a choice on making. We can decide who we're going to love, what we're going to love. Uh, basically, when it comes to uh, well, Christianity and the Bible, we are the ones that have been given the responsibility to love, and in return for that love, we are to receive respect from, if it's a woman, we're giving the love to. If she believes, we love her. It's, it's, it's like that. Now, if she is not uh, ready to be loved or to give you respect, then that's a choice you make, because love is free. It, there's no debt associated with it. So you move on, you move on in, in the sense of love. But love, uh, it's, it's simply an unflinching uh, choice that you have made to give to someone with, with really no expectations of return. And that's where the confusion comes in. Because people think that once you love someone, they got to love you back. No, that, that's, not, that's, not, that's not it. Love is something you give. If you get something back, fine. If you don't, fine. You got to know it like that. And love is also not something uh, physical. It's not that either. It's not just how well she looks. And it's so therefore she has breast cancer and has her breast removed. You no longer love her. Well, if that's the case, you didn't love her in the first place. You never did. So love is not a, a physical thing. Love is a spiritual, all-giving thing. Don't try to change a person, though, because you're not going to change a person. You can instruct a person as to what you like, and if you think that person comes to the table in a way that's satisfactory to you, cool. If not, move. All right. Love, you know, love is something that that you just genuinely express, uh, sometimes not even realizing that you have expressed the love for, for a particular person or a thing, you know, so it's well, definitely not. Love, from a man's perspective, is more responsibility. Women yeah. can be afforded to be emotional about 
about love. Men don't have don't that Don't buy your wife something on Christmas. Don't buy your wife something on Christmas. Men don't have luxury of being emotional. Right. Women don't have the love. Women don't have the love. It's their weakness. It's their weakness. Exactly. It's responsibility. Right. When you love your woman, you don't pay it. It's a responsibility. That's what that is. You don't make that house. Uh, work properly, you know what I'm saying? Those are the essentials, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I feel you. I feel you. A woman can afford to be in love. Well, what is it? Is love is mm-hmm. what attaches to anything that you created on this planet, meaning DNA. It should be like that. But anything outside of that is personal. Anything outside of your kids, your family, your wife, and in the situations that's going to house them, keep them whole, keep them complete, keep them, you know, moving forward. Outside of that, it's just bullshit. They add love to it because love don't love no damn body. It's just a word describing what you feel and what y'all feel. My baby's different. My baby's different. That's just my opinion, man. Love don't love nobody. You got every right to believe. Your woman loves you. You love your woman, but love has never popped up saying, I love both of y'all. I disagree I'm with love, I, love I, I disagree with y'all. that too because mm-hmm. I don't think women really love. I think they give respect to love. I don't think they I, really love. Like, I like that. Mm. Okay. I, I man, that's deep. That's that's like, I'm going to have to call it out. They give respect to love. And only if they believe you love, love, love them. them. That's right. Now, if they that's don't right. believe you love them, because like I believe a woman will be with a man she respects before she will be with a man she thinks she loves. Yeah. 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 That's him. That's him. Yeah. But it's not. It's biblical. Because it's you being correct. Yeah. Jesus loves me. Ephesians 5, 25, 30. Because he first loved me. That's real. Mm-hmm. You remember real. that? Yeah. Real. Yeah. I mean, real. It's the same thing. But he even said that, what is it? The greatest of these is love, you know? So I like, got to have some. And he also so, said a free in our world is the enemy of mine, so you can't go around loving everybody. Well, that's true. Well, that's, true. that's why love is a choice. Mm-hmm. It's a choice you yeah. make. We can stay married forever in a day. I believe that there should be a spiritual foundation, yes, but not a spiritual foundation that has to say religious or not religious, I, because I believe we're all spiritual. No, I'm just kind of going to go with the, uh, the, the religious remark, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and that it should not be religious, right. but, it, but it really should have some spirituality in it. Okay. Know, some way it should be involved in that, you know, because we're all deeper than, you know, than our skin. Right, and, right. And deeper than uh, our sexuality. Exactly. And a lot of times that's what people get lost in. Mm-hmm. Like we, like we, we've talked about jokingly before about, uh, you know, orgasms, like, you know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, stiff that lasts for four hours and all that kind of right. thing. Mm-hmm. You see, it's a fantasy. Right. See, a lot of it's based in fantasy is what we get off into wow. rather than the, the reality, you know, of the other person. Like point. my wife, for example, yes, I love that rascal and I, I have from the first moment. Mm-hmm. And I know that, you know, now and after 32 years, you know, I still love her like right. very, very, very deeply. You know, but have I done some other things? Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, and I admire this brother like you know, wholeheartedly for like for his effort because we all you know make some mistakes, especially when we're young, you know, and, and that that kind of thing. And sometimes marriage is the mistake that we make. Exactly. You know. All yeah. what I bring to the table. I mean, you don't want me to dummy up and be stupefied. You know what I'm saying? But a strong black woman should also be able to respect their man and affirm their man. For well, me, Michael, I get mixed is. messages. I'm just being straight up. Mm-hmm. I get mixed messages. I want a strong black woman, and then when you start being strong, then you're angry as hell. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at some point, you need to kind of not bow down to your man, but understand that no matter what, your man is the leader of that household. Mm-hmm. And and women don't want to hear that. Mm-hmm. They want to hear well, women don't want to hear. They want it. women want to hear. I make more money than you, so I run this thing. Or or you know. But, but don't pick and choose when you want to be the man of the household. If no, you're the man of the household, because a man, be a house, man but of the house. But I've been married, man, for a minute, and and, and I know folks been married way longer than I have. But the trip part about it to me, just last night. I don't care every time I say something. If I say, I'm going to take a left right now, I'd be damned if she don't say, you got to go right. I've met women, I mean, I've been on Comic View, the Stellar Awards, all that stuff. I've met women that drop dead gorgeous. And ain't no Jesus in them. <laughs> and they mean <laughs> and selfish, you know. And you're like, girl, you get ugly. <laughs> the craziest thing Chris Rock ever said, he says, you can't win an argument with a woman. The woman 
doesn't care whether the argument is sane or not. She just has to get a point on court. And it doesn't matter whether where the argument goes and how insane it gets, the fact that I need to be right. I know it's, I know the sky's blue, but I'm gonna tell you it's black and you're gonna be right. And it doesn't it doesn't matter what the man is saying. I need to know your expectations of me. You see, I'm the type of woman that will stand with you, by you, and for you. I'll support you, comfort you, and yes, love you. For you to become my king, you must first treat me like your queen. My love is just too strong to categorize, and love such as that will have you mesmerized. But first, I need to know if you will embrace a monogamous relationship, or are you just another brother talking the talk and not walking the walk, lying and smiling at the same time while you're trying to get my panties down so you can scandalize and dishonor my name? No, my brother, I'm not falling for that game. Yes, you got my attention, but before I give my affection, I need a bit more information. The man I need to lift me higher must have a relationship with God. He must know when to fall to his knees to gain the spiritual strength needed when going through adversities. I need a man with the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Samson, the praise of David, the radicalness of Malcolm, the humbleness of Martin, the sexiness of Denzel, and the insightfulness of Barak. Are you that man? In Georgia, in Atlanta, women are coming up and these women have made it and they got it going on. They got careers. Mm -hmm. They got, I see them coming to my dealership. Mm -hmm. Their credit scores are incredible. Mm -hmm. Their cars, they're driving are incredible. Their houses. And in their mind, I don't need a man for nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're embedding in but every that's other what one they of their portray, friends. But that may not be the reality of the world in which they really live in. That's but they're what starting they to believe it. Mm -hmm. At they, some they point, women. I don't believe that they believe it. I think that's what they made. I don't believe they've been forced. Access. They've been right. forced to yeah. to live that truth, right? Because when they're in a relationship, things just why fall apart. don't you want me? Surely this can't be the depths of your conversation. How you're gonna make it wet? How good it's gonna get? And then penetration. Don't you understand that I've done everything that I could possibly do to show myself true to you? From the very beginning of time, I was given to you from the divine. You were given to me, and I was given to you. I was given to you, and you were given to me. From birth into the grave, I've been there for you when we were kings and queens in Africa until the time when we were actually slaves. I'm the one that put the staff on your back, but yet now you're giving me a complex. Now you're sitting up there screwing me and then want to say who's next. Telling me how big it is that my thighs got me going to the doctor to change the color of my beautiful brown eyes. And then I'm in the barber shop or maybe the beauty salon for over three hours trying to get this gorgeous kinky hair straight. And then going to the gym for two hours so that I can lose some weight because of the fact that I gave birth to your firstborn son. But then you tell me that I'm not the one. How could you sit up there and hurt me? Why is it that you don't want me? And then you turn around and desert me. Everything that I can possibly think about, I've given to you. And then you say that I'm emotional. Well, maybe it's because you get a little bit dramatic when a nigga won't get it. And then you're trying to, trying to tell him how much you love him because from out of the very pits of my soul, I love you so much I tend to lose control. But you say that you don't understand, black man. And I've given you everything that I can possibly can, but yet you don't want me. Why is it that you don't love me? What is it about me that you don't seem to see? Is it or could it possibly be that when you look into my eyes, you hate the you in me that you see? Or maybe it's that the fact of my complexion doesn't give you any longer a erection. You have to now go for what is white because you say that she's right, but yet I feel as though she's uptight. She has it a little bit better than me. You seem to leave me. You seem to deceive me. And then you have the nerve to tell me that I'm an overachiever, that I'm not a believer because I don't believe in you when I've given you and done everything that I can possibly do. So why is it that you don't want me to? What, what are some of the setbacks that you feel that women have to prevent them from having a successful marriage and or relationship? I never met a lady who didn't work. 
except for the first one. And that was okay. Because <laughs> most women don't even say to their men, you know what, I appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Women say that again. Do that. <laughs> you can you say that again? Nobody want to I'm in. I'm in. No, 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 and even if the woman is the one making the more money and maybe doing a little bit more, she still got to say it to that man. I need, I need you to show me. Do I, need you, I need you to take, when you see the trash in the in the bathroom, the little trash can in the bathroom, mm-hmm. and you know it's Thursday, mm-hmm. I need you to take all the trash out <laughs> and do that. Because to me, you know that that's, that's an act of service. That shows me that you care about me. If you know, if that's you know, an extra thing you have to do. That's an extra sure. thing I don't that's have to do. Please. That's, That's an extra thing. Good. It's an extra thing that I don't have to do. If you see that my tire, my car, look in and see, baby. When's the last time you had your oil changed in your car? Why do I, as the woman, have to take my car to the mechanic? I think that that is an act of service. That shows me that you care about me. I am riding your children around in that car. I, okay, so I believe that if you see my tires are worn or things like those are things. Because see, I, I That's something that you should know how to do. Is that if you're not whole within yourself, right, then right. and you bring another human being in to try to make you whole, and, and that's another problem. I think a lot of American inculcated women, uh, the, the problem that they have is they want to bring a man in their life to make them whole rather than already being whole and having a desire to submit to somebody else prior to the relationship. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Submit. Uh, <laughs> said, yeah, that's, that's, that's but the, we got an amen over here. Right. You got an amen you over here. Single nines over there. Yeah. Oh, there's one. There's one sister over there. Mm-hmm. Clap, there's three nines. I guess because I watched I'll my father. I'll take that hit. I'll take that hit. Because I watched my father do that. Honey, I'm taking your car today. I'm gonna go get it clean. And while I'm at work, I'm gonna have the mechanic. I didn't, I didn't, have, I didn't have that kind of teacher. Okay. My, my that, teacher. And, my teacher wasn't there. And that's what. That's exactly what the film was about. Now, I'm gonna give you a perfect example. The other night I came home. I said, you know what? So let me go down and say, you know, she's working or whatever. Let me go down and say, you know, say hello and give the, give the baby a hug here. And I have a witness here, I, I believe. I believe I, 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 know I, got a, I know I got a witness in the room. Can I get an amen? amen. I, said, hey, baby. I said, hey, baby, I said, how you doing? I said, what's going on? I said, hello to everybody. I said, I want to give you a hug. Oh, I'm busy right now. I said, okay, I'll wait a song or two. You know, I sit here. You know, conversate with the people. Sure. Conversate with the people. Sure. Don't you know Mary J. Blige came up with some I love you, I apologize, I forgive you song. Oh, that's my song. That's my song. And I, and I can't get a hug. A hug. Wow. I didn't ask for no, I didn't ask for no cottontail. I just asked for a hug. That's just a hug. No, see, no. Am, am I wrong? No, 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 no. Am I am I wrong? No. 